you gotta compete. You can't always duck everybody. You know what I mean? That's a lot, that happens a lot in racing. That's kind of what hurts the fanfare. Sometimes we just we, we gotta run our horses. If we're doing well, we gotta take chances and run them and, and let the best horse win on the day. It only takes one upset to make history, especially in Saratoga, the graveyard of champions, where the dark horse can overcome the odds, defeating the favorites and wowing the crowds. The smart bet is always the dark horse. Her second start off the layoff. Um, she's a nice filly. She won last time. I was taking a Goldstream. I'm um, gonna have to improve, obviously, against this kind of quality horses. But we, we reckon that she has the ability to do that too. So, and then Republic, um, half to the Romber, and Mer's kind of throwing horses that run dirt, Tapita, and um, turf. So, giving her a try on the turf. Last time she ran in the Delaware Oaks, a bit disappointed as far as well as she's training the dirt. But I um, feel like if she had a good work on the turf last week. Um, I feel like if she handles the turf, she's a filly that has some um, class there. Last year we bought, I think, more mainly more steak horses. This year we kind of more, I kind of spread it out a bit more diverse. So last year we were kind of top heavy, we're not really any bottom or middle. Um, this year we kind of diverse it a bit in that aspect. But it's obviously good to get off the mark quickly, and hopefully we can win a few more.